So last week I unboxed this, the Elgato HD60 Pro. Now, if you want to get into game capture, this is actually one of the best things you can buy. But game capture is one of those things where the only people who really do it are already really into it. So I'm going to be showing you how to install this. And luckily for you, all you need is a screwdriver. And heck, if you're really lucky, you don't even need one of these. Let's get into it. Luckily for us, hardware-wise installing this is as simple as finding a suitable port, which unfortunately for us, if we just adjust the zoom, the, zoom, the focus, actually, no, it's fully zoomed in. The, the, the four port is there. So we're actually gonna have to install it one lower in here. It will still work, obviously, but it's not fastened in like a longer card would be in the P into the PCIe port. But because it's got that sort of ridge there, oh, that's not even slightly on camera. Let's adjust the focus. Because it's got that ridge there, in the same way this does, it will work fine. So installing it is simple as popping it in. Make sure you pay good attention that it's lined up with the port. Because um, you will find it's slightly lower down than you expected. Push it down, hear that click. Theoretically, we're already installed but you will want to screw it down. Now with something like this capture card, it's not quite big enough for that to be an issue, but it still does make sense. As you can see, something like a graphics card, if I just move this up a bit real quick, actually has two screws to make sure it stays in place. And technically I am using the wrong kind of screw, guys, before you all complain. This is the only screw I had laying around. All you do is it's as simple as putting it in and twisting around. Oh my God, is that how screws work, really? And tighten it, dun dun, dun 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 dun, dun a screw tightening with George. We're turning that into a series. And hardware-wise, as soon as that's tight, that's done. So as you can see, once it's installed, there's an in and an out. If you're using two separate PCs, um, the HDMI of the gaming PC would go into the in, and then from the out would go back to your monitor, wherever that is. If you're using one PC, as we are here, HDMI comes out of here, into the in, and out of the out. So you'll actually need two cables. So for this, you'd probably want a really short cable, but you know, whatever. Looking on the inside, it's practically invisible as it's directly underneath the graphics card. You can kind of see the plate there, and that's about it. Um, you can also see that I really need to work on my cable management, uh, which is mostly because I'm switching cases in a little bit. So that bit needs to be got rid of. If we move over here, you can also see that we made some modifications to this graphics card to fit with the little bit that's been cut out right there. Just, just, this used to be one long bit and now it's not. So now that it's been installed physically, we need to install it on a software ba And what the hell has happened to my shirt? I'm wearing a different shirt. Oh yeah, that was installed yesterday. Whoops. Anyway, so I've plugged it in. You, can, you might be able to tell. It's actually just HDMI power and then keyboard and mouse. So if we power this on, nothing will happen. Perfect. This is professional right here. Power it on. Hey! So, if we go to HDMI 1. So it's currently set to output through my graphics card and the reason is it first needs to be set up before we can get it to pass through. So it's installed directly into my PC currently. We will install the drivers and then we will see how it works. Luckily, setting up the software is almost as easy as setting up the hardware. All you have to do is go to the Elgato website And I need to plug in an ethernet cable. Good job, George, good job. So all we need to do is go to the Elgato website, gaming, HD60 Pro, and go to downloads and support, and then download game capture 3.1 for Windows. Download that, 145 megabytes. That's like almost 150. And voila. Like the video? Awesome. Hit like. Didn't like the video? Why are you still 
here. You should just leave now. I'm going. See you guys next time.